Hello, in this video I'll talk about VPN load balancing using DNS solution on Cisco ASA and next generation firewall running in Azure. Let's start off with the problem statement. Uh, you can deploy firewalls at the edge uh, for VPN uh, connectivity for remote access VPN users. Um, the maximum number of VPN supported on an instance is dependent on uh, instance size that you're using for that firewall. So we have D3 instance which can go up to 750 VPN endpoints and the biggest instance D8 instance which can go up to 10,000 VPN endpoints. So uh, if you have more workloads and more uh, VPN users, uh, you may want to have multiple firewalls and when you have multiple firewalls it becomes important for you to load balance your VPN users. Uh, in this particular example I have two firewalls at the edge and I'm controlling my traffic based on DNS load balancing. So users on the internet will hit a domain name and that domain name results to multiple IP addresses and those IP addresses are assigned on the external side of the firewall. In order to maintain symmetry, um, I have a separate IP address pool for each firewall so that I can use my traffic based on Azure UDR and send back traffic to the uh, firewall where VPN user is connected. There is another option, you can pat your inbound traffic on inside interface of the firewall. In that case, you can use same VPN pool on each firewall. But in some cases, if PAT is not a requirement and uh, uh, your admin would like to see real IP address of VPN user, then you may want to go with multiple VPN pools and use uh, routes in the route table to maintain symmetry. And load balancing can be controlled using TTL and you can tweak your TTL as per your requirement. This is an example where you have multiple VNets and each VNet will, would have multiple firewalls. You can still control your traffic using DNS and you can load balance across multiple availability zones, multiple VNets, multiple regions as well. Now let's talk about a quick demo that I'm going to be showcasing today. Uh, in this demo, uh, I don't have a very big setup. I am trying to showcase load balancing of VPN sessions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two firewalls uh, with three interfaces, uh, outside, inside, and management interface. Management interface is not shown in this diagram, but it's there only for out of band management. Uh, I have a VNet which is 192.168.00/16, and then 2.0. Uh, slash 24 is my inside subnet, 1.0 slash 24 is my outside subnet, and 0, 0.0 slash 24 is my management subnet. I have a route table which is associated to my outside subnet and default gateway in that route table is first IP address of um, outside subnet which is Azure Gateway. Apart from that, uh, Firewall 1 has a VPN pool 100.0 slash 24 and VPN pool on second firewall is 200.0 slash 24. Apart from that, I have a route table which is associated to inside subnet and in that route table I have two routes, uh, route for VPN pool 1 and route for VPN pool 2. So route for VPN pool 1 goes to firewall 1 and route for VPN pool 2 goes to firewall 2. Now let's go ahead and quickly log into Azure portal and I'll show you all these uh, steps one by one and I will show you how exactly my remote user uh, is going to be load balanced between these two firewalls. I can add more firewalls as well but just to keep this demo short and crisp. I'm just using two firewalls and using DNS functionality. For this particular demo I am using Route 53 because I already have a domain in Route 53. I have added um, two new air records and those two new records, air records points to um, uh, the external IPs which are mapped to my ASAs. So let's go ahead and uh, log into portal and I will show you how exactly things are configured. 
Okay, I'm now in my Azure portal. I'll show you my resource group first. Uh, this is my resource group where I have all my resources. So I'll start off with uh, my virtual network. Uh, so if you look at this virtual network, uh, I have uh, four subnets, management, DMZ, outside and inside. Apart from that, um, I have these devices connected here. So I have ASA1, uh, ASA2, um, I have a jump box using which I'm accessing my ASAs and then I also have my Linux machine which is 2.7. Remember 2.7 I'm going to be pinging this IP address once I'm connected uh, to my AnyConnect VPN. Next thing that I want to show here is my route table. So I'm going to be uh, showing you a route table inside first because that is really important because in route table inside I have route for 100.0 that is my VPN pool on ASA1 and 200.0 is, is a VPN pool on ASA2 and I have associated this route table to inside subnet. Now let's go ahead and look at outside UDR as well. You can look at this UDR I don't have anything special here I just have a uh, default route that points to internet. I could have used first IP address as well uh, but this is what I'm using here in this route table and then if you look at ASA I have ASA here so in this in this particular um, um, uh, resource group I can click on networking it is going to show you my uh, four NICs. NIC 0 uh, is 0 0.4 and there is a public IP address uh, on NIC0. Uh, there is a public IP address on NIC1 as well, which is my outside interface. So I'm going to be initiating connection to this uh, public IP address. Now, these are my uh, NSGs. In my NSGs for this demo, I have allowed everything ideally. Uh, you will allow uh, SSH 44380 or ports that you want to allow. You will allow those ports in, in this particular NSG. Uh, so this is what I wanted to show you here. Uh, and uh, apart from that, another important thing is, um, is, is the default route table. So we'll not touch these default route tables. These route tables are there uh, when you deploy ASA. I've created uh, um, my route table separately and then attached to those subnets. I also have another ASA which is in resource group 2 which is my ASA 2 and in this ASA also I have uh, I public IP address on my uh, NIC 1 which is my outside interface and I'm using similar kind of security group and traffic is allowed on the interface to accept my VPN connection. Apart from that I have uh, this uh, uh, this domain name in Route 53 on AWS. You can use Azure DNS solution as well. But um, since I already have my domain name, I'm using this uh, Route 53 there. So I have created two air wickets, azure.answamivpn.com and this public IP address is the mapped IP address on my ASA1. The second public IP address is a mapped IP address on ASA2. If you click here, you can look at my weighted average. So I'm using weighted routing policy and zero. So it is going to um, uh, uh, distribute load between these two ASAs. And I'm using TTL of 60 um, minutes here. So sorry, 60 seconds. So I'm going to be showcasing my VPN connectivity now. Before that, I will just show you that I have a continuous ping running for 192.168.2.7. Um, uh, that is my workload running in the cloud. I'm going to be now using my AnyConnect VPN. I'll go ahead and connect. So I'm connected now. Let's see, I'm part of which uh, ASA. I'm right now part of ASA1 because I have IP address of 1. 100.0/24. You can look at the pings. Now I'm able to ping my uh, gateway as well. Now I will 
click disconnect and wait for some time let the ttl expire or i can go ahead and clear my dns cache and then i can reconnect for uh, some time i'm going to be um, pausing this video and then i will uh, reconvene uh, once my dns cache is cleared okay let's try again again okay uh, good you can see that I'm now connected to ASA 2 uh, in the description of this video I'm going to be including uh, configuration of ASA 1 and ASA 2 as well uh, but this demo is to showcase how uh, you can go ahead and load balance traffic uh, between multiple two multiple ASAs uh, in this demo I have just used two ASAs you can have multiple ASAs multiple availability zones multiple VNets and you can scale out your VPN users. I understand uh, during the phase of uh, COVID-19, a lot of companies are uh, promoting work from home and this kind of solution is really required. So um, if you have any question, post your comment. Uh, I'll be actively monitoring my comment. You can subscribe to this channel and I'll be, I'll be answering those questions. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.